Hello everyone, welcome to Arcade Learners. And in the last video, uh, we are seeing how to install uh, Robocop IDE. And in this video, we are going to see uh, the basic syntax of uh, Robocop IDE. IDE. Then we are going to create some uh, software robots using Robocop. And before going to create those robots in the Robocop IDE, uh, if you know these uh, four uh, parts in the code, that will be uh, more, that will be a lot easier. Doing there, so let's get uh, into the video and see what are the different parts that are there in, while writing a code and implementing a software robot in, in the RoboCop. So uh, there are majorly four uh, parts in this uh, code, uh, which is uh, settings, and then uh, the variables part, and then the keywords part, and then the tasks part. Uh, here in the settings part, the first one. We have uh, something called documentation here, uh, which is uh, used to write the detailed description about that particular task or the step that we are doing there. If you are doing uh, like the click, then if you want to mention a detailed description while you are doing the click or something like that, you can mention it by using this particular syntax here, documentation, and then you can write the other uh, part that you want to describe about that particular step or the whole robot and here we be describing the whole robot what it is doing there and then we need to in settings part we need to add the libraries which we are going to use in this particular robot uh, which we are creating in infer so if you are using the browser and then excel we need to mention the other library which is rpa.excel.py for the rpa.excel application so uh, uh, if you are using XDDP, then we need to include the XDDP library as well here. So uh, that is about the settings part where we where we uh, place the libraries, and then uh, the other part is the variables part uh, where we can uh, mention the global variables which we are going to use. In this case, we are using a browser URL, so we are mentioning that browser URL over here and making it as a variable. Of uh, we are making it as a URL. And this is the syntax of declaring the variable in Robocop. So you can we need to uh, get this correct, and we need to mention the spaces as well that we we are going to discuss in the other video. But uh, for now, we are going to see the parts, different parts included in the code. So this is the variables panel where a variables part where we need to declare the variables that we are going to use in our uh, robot or a robot software robot. So the third part is the keywords. Um, this is the main step uh, where we need to uh, we need to actually create the steps uh, which we are going to use we here uh, every step or the sequence of steps that is going to happen uh, that indicates a keyword so in this case uh, when we are using the interact website so we need to open that and this is the keyword uh, that is that is having the steps inside it so this is the main keyword which indicates the whole steps of this process and here we are only opening the browser available browser here the available browser maybe it may pick any browser which is installed on your system not specific to ie or chrome and so this is the one syntax that is going to process under this particular keyword which is open the internet website and then uh, there is another keyword so we can have multiple keywords in there and the other one is the login then uh, we open the browser with the url so we need to enter the username and password and then we need to submit that so here uh, we are in, get we are inputting three particular uh, steps we are doing that we are entering the username and these are the arguments and uh, we are entering the password and then we are click on submit these are the three different steps that is going to happen under this login keyword so uh, so we we did mention two different keywords one for the open browser and then the other for the login so these are the two different keywords that are used in this code and then uh, after declaring those keywords we have the sequence of steps which needs to execute so we need to uh, group them together in order to perform the whole particular automation out here so that is the main task uh, that is the main part of this software robot it is tasks where we need to get the whole uh, keywords in there to execute the whole process so uh, this uh, this is the process that we are doing opening the interact site and login and for this task what uh, the keywords that need to be executed one after the other 
is the first one is we need to open the employer website that is the first keyword which is here we are opening the employer website and then second keyword is we need to log in to the browser so that is the second keyword if you have any other keywords after that we can mention it on the basis on the steps or this is on the flow which you need to um, create which you are creating there so this is the whole code or uh, the basic syntax of robocop where you need to learn first this so whenever you learn you know these four different areas of the code then it will be easy for you to write this um, to implement this in the robocop id so let's um, uh, see uh, compare this code with the ua path and see what as these steps is presently in ua path so in settings um, we are mentioning uh, libraries which we are using and if you go to ua path where we import packages where we manage packages where we install some of the packages system dot activities and then um, those uh, word dot word activities pdf activities and all of the stuff that is the step we are doing here we are importing or the managing all the packages which are required for that particular process in the settings part which is uh, the defined which is in UA path is a UA managed packages so second one is a variables panel uh, we, we in UA path we have uh, panels where we can create the variables and store the values here we are mentioning it over here by um, getting the path which is in the variables path in the variables part. so and then the other one is keywords uh, let's say let's assume these keywords as the sequences that we uh, develop in UA path where we develop different sequences with a set of steps there and then uh, we use those sequences in the main workflow to execute the whole process so that is also happening here where we are uh, defining set of steps under a main sequence which is open the entire website and then uh, let's assume this is another sequence which is login and we are, we are performing three different steps like type into type into and then click and now in the main workflow which is this one opening the entire website and login this is the main workflow that here we are invoking the two different sequences under the flow chart let's assume it's a flow chart uh, we, we need to uh, in, invoke the open the internet website uh, sequence that is done here and then the login sequence is done here so um, this is uh, the UA path has a different uh, UI design and then this has you, this you need to write in the code that's the main difference over here but these four parts uh, mainly describes that if you know that you also know this but the uh, appearance is different and then you need to adjust to that and try to implement it in the robocop id and you will uh, the practice that you make will make you more easy to uh, see this and implement and learn faster so this is the basic syntax of robocop id that you need to learn uh, before going there so that will uh, definitely help you so uh, that's it for this video if you like this video please give a like and uh, we need to learn more on the RoboCorp and the open source RPA tools. Keep following the RPA learners, and we uh, we need to create. We will create more uh, videos on this open source RPA. And uh, that's it for this video. And thanks for watching.